Okay, now we're going to um, show you the math of charging capacitors. It's a little bit um, rougher, only because there's a little integration by substitution. And so, um, here goes. Um, we have the EMF of a battery. And when I put this switch down, we'll get some current that flows. And the, res the capacitor is going to um, char start charging up. Now, the... Um, when, when this is happening, I'd like you to see that at T equals zero, there's no charge across there. So that means all the current has to be across here. What I'm telling you then is that a capacitor is acting just like a wire at T equals zero. Because it's it only starts to push back against the current once you dump some charge on it. When you put your first positive charge here, that's when it starts pushing back. And so... Um, as this charges, it's going to push back. But at T equals zero, this is behaving just like a wire. There's no voltage cross here because capacitors need current uh, charge to be to have voltage. But there's um, all your voltage drop is there. Okay, let's do a, a, a loop rule. So I'll start here, and um, as this charges, the field is going to be this way down. And so if I start here, I'm going to go up E. So it's E minus IR, because the current's going to flow this way, minus IR minus um, Q over C. That all has to equal zero. Okay, but um, I is DQ DT, so uh, E minus DQ DT times R minus Q over C. That equals zero. This time I don't have to put a negative in front of the DQ DT because the Q is growing with time. It's, it, the, the charge on here is growing with time, and so that's really matching the current. This is the charge on the capacitors related to the current by DQ DT. All right, so let me, um, let me get my terms on the same side. So maybe uh, what I'll do is I'll bring these two terms on the other side. So I'm going to do uh, something like this. Um, e minus Q over C is equal to DQ DT times R. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Yep. And then I'm going to um, bring the DT on the other side and the, 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 DQ, the DQ, all this stuff over here and the DT on the other side with the R. So um, let's go R, put DT over here. That's equal to um, DQ all over E minus Q over C. So getting my terms together, separation of terms. And then I'm going to integrate both sides. And I'll start at um, t equals 0 and go to t. Now this time I'm starting at 0. There's no charge on the capacitor. At t equals 0, there's no charge in the capacitor. And then I'm going to some other time q. Sorry, this is getting pretty messy. Okay, so um, this term is just going to turn into... Um, D, it's going to turn into T over R. So I'll put that over here. So we got T over R is equal to... Now on the other side then, um, I have to integrate that. So I'm going to... Well, let me just write this all over again because it's pretty messy over there. Okay, to do this you need um, integration by substitution. And so I'm, I'm only going to... I'm not going to really explain it in detail, but I'll let you equal this. And then um, I'm going to substitute, substitute that in for that. So I got to change this dq to du, to du. I'd like it to be du. And so the trick is you say du dq, the derivative of u with respect to q is not take the derivative of this with respect to q. I think it's um, negative 1 over c. So Q, if I bring the DQ over here and the 1 over C there, it looks like D, DU, if I bring this over there, it looks like it's negative C DU is equal to DQ. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that in. 
getting there, getting there. All right, so coming on over here. All right, so T over R on that side is equal to the integral of um, du, um, negative C du, all over u. Yeah, that that's right. That's because dq is negative C du. Okay, so that means that when I take this derivative, let me pull that C out, and I'll even take it to the other side, the negative C. And so it's going to be negative T over RC is equal to, and I'm going to um, integrate this then. It's going to be the natural log of U, but the natural log of U is um, U, I'm going to just substitute in, it's, it's um, E minus Q over C. And these are my boundary conditions. Okay, let's fill in the numbers then. So if I um, put in the numbers, I got negative T over RC is equal to, okay, first put in this guy. So I get the natural log of um, E minus Q over C. Okay, minus, now I put in the zero. Now when I put in the zero, it doesn't disappear. It's just this term disappears. So I got the natural log of E. All right, so um, if I then um, can simplify this just down to the natural log of uh, the absolute value of E minus Q over C. Hope you can read all that. Um, divided by, that's a C, divided by E. That's equal to negative T over RC. Okay, then I'm gonna, um, I'm going to take the, I'm gonna raise both E to both of these. Since these are equal to one another, E raised to those powers should be equal to one another. And so that's how I get rid of the natural log. So E to the negative T over RC then should equal, um, when I raise that, I, I won't write that out. I'm just going to write it as this because that's what it, it just goes to that. And so um, if I bring the E on the other side, I'm trying to solve for Q. Okay, I'm getting closer, I'm trying to solve for Q. And then um, maybe I'll switch this term. I'll bring it over here and bring this term over there. So Q over C is equal to E minus E to the negative T over RC. All right. Now, um, uh, maybe I'll bring the C on the other side now. Q is equal to um, C times E minus C times E to the negative um, times E, oops, E to the negative T over RC. And we can write this then, at, do you see how C times E is something? Do you recognize what so it's C times E is? Yeah, that's Q naught. So Q equals Q naught minus Q naught E to the negative T over RC. So if I were going to graph that, um, what that gives me when I graph Q over T is um, I have, I'm going to have a growth graph. Okay, one other thought then with this is if that's Q, then the rate at which that changes with time is the current. And so the current, if I take the derivative of this function... For a charging capacitor, if you take the derivative of Q with respect to time, that's equal to I. So let me go ahead and take this derivative. The derivative of a constant is zero, and this derivative is going to go ahead and be um, Q naught RC e to the negative T over RC. Once again, I feel pretty good about that because you see that this is a voltage. So a voltage divided by R, yeah, that's a current. Thanks. Bye.